Oh, we're back and we're doing it again. Hello everybody, today we are back with more Lucifer. With a Lucifer. You can't see him, but my cat's laying right here. And this is Blue. Blue, I think you might be in the way a little bit. Just a little bit, nothing major. It's all good. And and his name is Lucifer. Well, his name is Blue, but we call him Lucifer because he's evil. He, he's right down here. You, you, you can't see him, but... He's here. So if you hear any random purring, I apologise. So, pretty simple. Not going to drag on this intro for you. But we've done Lucifer. But we are continuing our... Lucifer reaction series thing. And today we are kicking it off with episode three. So grab yourself a beverage. I've got me a pink gin and diet lemonade. And yeah, I'm excited. So in the beginning, the angel Lucifer was cast out of heaven and commended to rule hell for all eternity until he decided to take a vacation. Does it start this way every time? I assume so. Oh my God, somebody's gonna jump off of something and kill themselves. Who is this? Go on. Go ahead. What does that mean? Go on. Wow. I've never been to a pool party in my entire life. Although I'm not sure anybody from London has. Have one drink with me. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a buzzkill. I'm just I'm not in the mood to party. She is beautiful. Who is that? She's hot. Do I know you? Lucifer. Morning star. All right, you're the club owner guy who grants people favors. Yeah, I don't need anything from you. Do you know how rare you are? A celebrity virgin in Los Angeles, and surrounded by temptation. I mean, you, Ty, are like a four-leaf clover and a unicorn made a baby. Yeah. I I want to skip my morning workout sometime. Boring. Just chill on the couch and watch Master Chef. This is the fantasy life of a postmenopausal housewife. Come on, Ty. There must be <laughs> something deeper. I want to get laid so damn bad. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. That's what I like to do. I feel like she's going to be a main character. She's too pretty to like not be. Lucifer Morningstar, the guy who owns Lux. That's me. No, it's not. I've seen him before. His beats are sick. I very much beg your pardon. Beats? Yeah, he performed at a rap battle last week in the valley. Every single part of that sentence horrifies me. It is so gross that you're pretending to be someone you're not. <laughs> when your accent is weak. <laughs> are you doing homework? Mm, sort of. I saw Lucifer do some things that I can't explain. Is Lucifer a magician? That's sort of what I'm trying to figure out. When Daddy gets here, maybe he can help. Sometimes daddy helps me with my homework. Why don't you just ask Lucifer? Because if he's a magician, then he won't reveal his secrets. I hate children, but I love this kid. She is adorable. What's the emergency? Well, it's, it's better to show than tell, really. Is someone dead? Oh my god. <laughs> show and tell. Dead person, here you go. We got a murder on our hands. Dun, 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 dun. I had a hangover, right? I've never drank before, so. That's on me. Sorry. I am not your personal police concierge. You are going to find out who did this, <laughs> aren't you? Of course I am, because that's my job. Well, I'd be careful with that thing in the guest bedroom. It's a good chance to go blind. Unspeakable acts. We got a little carried away. <laughs> Stop interfering. Then help account for everyone who is at the party. Oh. The coroner puts the time of death between 1 and 3 a.m. Actually, is there someone who can vouch for your whereabouts at the time? Several someones, in fact. Yeah. Get them to tell you every little detail just to make sure that I'm not lying. I'll have someone else handle that. So, I'm a fire killer on the loose who needs to be punished. Time to punch in. There she is. Do you know anyone here? Oh, it was her. But those big, strong hands. Perfect for squeezing the life out of someone. Oh, ginger lad. Soulless bastards. Give me the meat, <laughs> Haven't I proven myself extremely useful at detectiving? Detectiving. Oh, my God. Stay. But I don't want to be stuck out here with these miscreants. These are your people. Detective! Your people. Oh. This won't do at all. Something like this. Wait a minute. I thought you said all this stuff was searched already for ID. I'm not looking for an ID, I'm looking for a car. Allie Thornton, 23, from Boise, Idaho. Her info matches Smart. the registration. Found this here in the bed. 
and it matches the missing fingernail of the victim. Isn't this Ty's bedroom? What the hell are you doing? Well, since you banished me outside with the lepers, I decided to make myself useful. You call watching porn on your phone useful? This isn't my phone, detective. I think it's our recently departed. She was filming it? What? Ty Huntley, you're under arrest for the murder of Valley Thornton. This is ridiculous. Lucifer, this is all your fault. I wish I'd never met you. Oof. Yeah. The only thing that that video proves is that Ty had sex. He was horny, not murderous. Yeah, yeah I don't think he did it either. I think Lucy was right. I don't know who it was, though. It's Detective Decker calling to apologize. Unless it involves laundry, I don't accept. Financial investigations unit. Do I look like I'd eat a zany wing? Someone is clearly masquerading as me. Rap battles and hot wings. You need to find this cheap knockoff and make him suffer. Do you understand? Why? You said it yourself. Humans are fascinating, right? I can't wait to see what this one does next. Team the Lucifer brand! Finally, I'll get my father's beef with gravy. He's talking to his therapist about it. At an end of your skin. Typical in a town full of charlatans. Nothing more to say. The girl was killed and Detective Deck is going after the wrong person. And that doesn't bother you? Well, why should it? Because I punished the guilty and Ty's not guilty. Clients do all the work, yet you chaps make all the money. Really? No. And they call me the devil. <laughs> <laughs> if ever I return to hell, you kids will be my first call. Oh, <laughs> especially you. Oh, one last thing before I go. You step out of line one time. They can give me a right good spanking, I promise. Come on, let's go. Mm. No, I love the virgin angle. It's a clean hook. Got them a lot of attention. But Ty was a mess. I needed him get over his ex. Hmm. If Deborah found out that Ty was with that poor girl. Deborah McCall of Detective Decker, LAPD. We need to ask you a few questions about Ty Huntley. I've got nothing to say. It's either here or down at the station. Leave me alone. Deborah. Oh my god. See? Woman. The bomb was triggered remotely. Whoever set it off did it before you got to the car. There was a clear line of sight. I don't think the plan was to kill you. I think they wanted to scare you. So you know of any reason why someone would want to do that? No. Where were you between 1 and 3 a.m. this morning? The only place that always makes me feel better. <laughs> How long does this go on? Three hours. <laughs> it's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. We might actually know who rigged the car. Ronnie Hillman. The big Hollywood fixer? Yeah. A security cam caught her walking nearby right after the explosion. This can't be a coincidence. Someone must have hired her for this. I've been trying to build a case on her for years, and every time we've approached her, she's lawyered up immediately. Definitely no cops. What about? This is someone she'd never expect us to work with. Do we get a code word? You know, for when you take her down. If so, might I suggest monkey bottoms? Because trust me, I can work that into any sentence quite naturally. You sure this is a <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Try to look even more like a douche. Mission accomplished. <laughs> oh my god. It's um Alaric's wife. In the Bad Aries. Yeah. I forget her name. Wait, what do you think my problem is? Imposter running around ruining your name. Your professional reputation has taken a bit of a dive. As has your sexual one. Right. I don't know. We're still talking. Now she's leaving. There you go. Lovely. What the hell did you do? Prince of Darkness. Payment due upon delivery. Do we know him? I'd like to examine the goods first. Your dime. <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> it 
Most certainly is not. And think that you were me. You know who you're messing with? I'm Lucifer freaking Morningstar. Oh, are you now? Well, you've certainly been a busy bee, haven't you, Lucifer? It seems you're a bit of a two-pump chump. Also a crier afterwards. That happened one time. Right. Hey. Some girls that I owned the place and, and that opened some doors for me and so I just started rolling with it. How dare you abscond my name? Please don't hurt me. Pleasure doing business with you, Lucifer. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Which is why I'm going to have to apologize for my friends. What friends? Ronnie Hillman, you're under arrest for kidnapping and assault. Would you mind calling my lawyer? Her number's in my back pocket. Yeah. Maybe you'll get a nice injection of drugs and you can go to sleep forever. Hang on. I had nothing to do with Allie's murder. Deborah McCall, Ty Huntley's ex, she's the murderer. You think Joe's the killer, that he took things into his own hands, quite literally. We don't have any proof. The American dream, honest, resilient, heroic. The police tried to pin the death of that poor girl on you. What about Deborah? I told you to look into her. She's the crazy one. Yes, well, I thought it was her all along. I mean, the woman certainly redefines intensity. But Deborah was home with a friend the night of the murder. What? They're lying. She's lying. Because I know she was there. Placing her at the Trying to get him to confess. Yep, yeah, there you go. Oh, Deborah there. I went by the party. So you admit you were there that night? Yeah. And so was Deborah. That's the proof you need, right? That's the proof we need. We have a sworn statement from Ronnie Hillman saying that you hired the victim to make a sex tape with Ty to blackmail him. I just needed to place you at the scene. Wait, do you understand? He is my Brady, my Manny. But Ali wasn't cut out for this sort of thing, was she? She didn't want to give you the video. Stupid bitch. She says she realized Ty was a good guy. She didn't want to go through with it. Her name was Ali Thornton and you killed her for what? Greed? Ego? I didn't want to hurt her. I just wanted her phone. Out of here. <gasps> did I squeeze too hard? How did you? What? Lucifer, what are you doing? Finally focusing my anger where it belongs. Lucifer. Your turn, detective. Holy shit. That was hot. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad to see you. Oh. You are? Yes, you are crazy. <laughs> but you're my crazy, you hear me? Forms the cockles, doesn't it? And I solved another crime. Identity theft. So, come on, admit it. We solved this one together. Or are you too egotistical to acknowledge my help? Okay, yeah, you didn't completely destroy the case. You can stop blaming yourself. Great. Why did you decide to come to Los Angeles? Yeah. You know, you say, you say people are phony here, but I think people come here to reinvent themselves. Why would I mess with perfection? I'm not. And that's denial. That's a river in Africa. <laughs> Another brilliant episode of Lucifer. I am becoming slightly obsessed with this show. Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. I can't believe Ali died. I really thought she was going to be main character. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, I'm going to be continuously still doing Lucifer season one individually. Might do a whole video on season two when I get to that because these are going to take a while to come out otherwise. But yeah, make sure to subscribe if you want more Lucifer content and I will see you when I see you.